Okay, so how do we change the color of our bullet character? Well, we do that by applying a character style to that particular character. Let's start by using the type tool and click in the paragraph that already has that bulleted character in it. The next step is to open up our bullets and numbering dialog box. And we can do that by either Option on the Mac or Alt on a Windows machine, clicking on the bulleted list button in the control panel. Or alternatively, you can go to the control panel menu and choose bullets and numbering from this menu. The same dialog box will pop up. As I said, the easiest way to get started is by creating a new character style. And in our bullets and numbering dialog box, under the bullet character section, we have the option to define that character style. So you don't need to define that character style before you go and apply it. We can do that right here by clicking this drop down menu and choosing new character style. Let's name the character style my bullet. And the only thing that I'm going to do here is change the character color. So on the left, click character color and then choose the color from the swatch color list that appears, Venice Blue, and click OK. As you can see in the background, because the preview is enabled in the bullets and numbering dialog box, we now have a beautiful blue character. I'm happy with that at this stage. I'm going to click OK. Now I would love to apply that same formatting to the remainder of the paragraphs. But one thing that I haven't done yet is actually define a paragraph style that makes it easier for me to apply both that beautiful blue character and the rest of the paragraph formatting to the remainder of the paragraphs. So highlight with your type tool just a little bit of the text in that paragraph that is now formatted as you would like your paragraph style to be formatted. It's actually enough to just have your cursor flashing anywhere in that paragraph. And then open up the paragraph styles panel. If you don't see the paragraph styles panel, you can access it from the type menu by choosing paragraph styles or alternatively from the window styles submenu. But I'm right here. And the next step is to define a new paragraph style. We do that by going to the paragraph styles panel menu and choosing new paragraph style. Let's name it. I'm naming it bulleted list one because you never know I might have a second level indentation list, list a little later on. If I click on bullets and numbering on the left you will see that both the bullet character as well as the character style is absorbed within that paragraph style that I'm about to define. Under the general option, I've made sure that the apply style to selection option is enabled so that once that style is created by clicking OK, this style is automatically associated with this very first paragraph. And it's now as easy as highlighting the text in the remainder of the paragraphs and selecting bulleted list one to format the rest of the paragraphs like that. If at any stage you would like to make some changes to your bulleted character, you can always go back to your character style, right click that, edit that, and then make changes to things like the tint, maybe you want to make it a little bit lighter, or you can even change any of the other features available here in the character style options.